Yeah, breaker one on. Can we get a 20 on that bop bop? Today we're gonna go out and get a premix tank out at Rocky and I just bring it back to town. It's uh, torquey a little bit. We'll put it on a try trombone and max out the permit and max out the stretch on the trombone. So it's gonna be long, but no problem. Convention I want you to see. It, it, it looks something like this.
sells them for apples. Kind of shitty. It's not the way I'd like to do it, but there was a huge gap and it was all mud. And then you can see how the trailer leaned to one side. There was swamp mats on one side and no mats on the other side. And it was a huge pus hole. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to fuck around. So I just thought I would drag it to me. We had to anchor the front end with the loader because I couldn't do it on my own. And uh, once it broke free, it came pretty easy. And it's on the trailer. I would have liked a little over to the passenger side a little more, but it'll fucking sail, so good enough. I'm going to kick it back a little bit so I can cross-chain the front here. Get on my merry way.
Yeah, breaker one on. Can we get a 20 on that? Bop, bop. Right, it's nine o'clock at night. Oil field calls. We're gonna go pick up a piece of equipment here on the south end of Red Deer, and we're gonna whistle it out to uh, Fox Creek and unload it first thing in the morning. and just take it right off me even though I thought they would just reach across their fence from their yard and grab it but whatever it is 6 15 a.m. I'm gonna crawl back in the bunk maybe for a couple more hours as long as I don't screw my log and uh, go home a little bit later all right that feels better now it is now 10 19 Let's just go with 20 after 10. That'd be easier. So, 
we'll hit the road and we'll go home. Maybe try to find some breakfast. Already made road coffee here. Let's hit her. Peterbilt life. Let's just call it Navi Star life. I hate this stereo so much. My road train truck, I opted to not have this because I knew how much of a piece of shit it was. yet again highway 2 and highway 53 they got bridge construction single lane action we got some trucker justice action in the back there blocking the left lane finally but we still got a bunch of morons merging in at the last second you know the traffic would flow if everybody just followed the rules uh, another month, a month, almost two more months of this. I'm gonna have to stop coming this way. Sometimes it's not too bad, but I guess it's a long week and a lot of people are taking off on Saturday. I should have thought of that, but I didn't. So. Oh well, what do you do? Cutting into my time. I got lots of time anyway. We don't have to load till four. I'm only a half hour once I get through this traffic jam. I ditch my little trailer, grab the wheeler, you know, throw some grease at the drive shaft quick before I do the maiden voyage to Grand Prairie.
Gloves. Gonna have gloves. Gonna have gloves. Now, where's the grease cap? There it is. Uh, oh, feels pretty light. Just drag it over here. I'll plug it in and it'll be like Fire in the hole. This thing on. On. Can I help you? Everybody else got this problem with newer trucks. Notice this with my road train truck too. 